Hi, I'm Dave from Boy in the Band. It's good to be back my home slices. I had no clue I was going to stop making videos for two months. It's just gonna happen, but it gave me a lot of time to get perspective on what I was doing. First thing to clear up, saying Boy in a Band is now a bit disingenuous. Not all of you will know this, but I started this channel when I was in a band called You and What Army. It might seem pretty weird that I haven't mentioned my band in years since I'm so passionate about the stuff that I do, but you may also notice the was in that sentence. This summer just gone, You and What Army was put on indefinite hiatus. Things just weren't working out with the band for a while. Leaving the band kind of felt like breaking up with a girlfriend in a lot of ways, there's just so much history there. And around this time last year I mentioned to you about making an album with Joey Sturgis. Well I've been trying to put together a band for that purpose, and I agonised over it but that didn't work, and so it got me down for a very long time. Because for ages being in a band has been my dream. I wanted to be in a band so much, but during the time I couldn't have what I wanted, I broke down the reasons I dreamed of being in a band. Because of the sense of community and the intensity on stage. I always thought it'd be kind of lame to be alone up there on stage stage like it wouldn't have the same power to it as with a band. But I've come to realise that that was just my perception because I grew up watching bands. I've never really seen musicians from other scenes. Tons of people have told me how much they enjoyed Skrillex live shows, and I've recently been watching loads of videos of rappers getting the crowds going insane, and I've finally come to an incredibly freeing realisation. I don't need to be a boy in a band, I can just be me. That cheesiness, man! But that left me with the problem of community. Touring with a band is a whole different experience, it'd be lonely to go around on my own. But that one got answered pretty quickly in my head. You home slices give me that sense of community. I can share that journey with you in videos or on Facebook whenever these cool things happen or when problems occur. Also, I collaborate with so many friends on songs. If I go on tour, I would just go with whoever wanted to come. They'd be up there with me. Hank Green from the Vlogbrothers, one of my favourite YouTube channels, just did this recently. And Andrew Huang, who stayed with me recently, was in his band and he told me loads of stories of how much fun they had together. I feel like this is so new, like this concept could only have happened with the technology from the last five years or so. This is a whole different model of being a musician, and maybe one day I will be a boy in a band again, but right now I've realised that I am much less stressed and much more in control by going solo, so that's what I'm doing. And instead of getting a record label, there is something else new that we can do thanks to the internet. I've just launched my Patreon page. On my birthday this year I made a survey, and one of the questions was, would you support me on Patreon. Now Patreon is a website kind of like Kickstarter, except instead of raising a lot of money for one project, it's small recurring tips for an ongoing project. In this case, whenever I make a video, and you can get exclusive rewards depending on how much you give. I'd always held off on doing something like Patreon in the past because I didn't want to be pushy or anything, but 20% of you said hell yeah, and 60% said maybe. That's mind-bogglingly supportive. I was expecting something like 5%, but fully 80% of you consider the videos I make worth financially supporting, potentially. Christ on a bike. I've made another video you can watch over on Patreon explaining the site and the rewards more in depth. Anything you do choose to give, I can put that money towards all the things that a record label would do. So that means high quality music videos, professionally produced music, and eventually touring. Which I'm freaking excited about. So now I'm not chasing the dream of being in a band like I was anymore. Instead, I'm embracing the experience of figuring out a new system that works for us. I'm going to collaborate more, I'm going to relax more now that I'm way less stressed, and with your help on Patreon, I'm aiming to make way more videos. And don't you dare feel guilty if you can't afford to become a Patreon or anything, I'd much rather you take care of yourself financially first before you consider helping out. And to clarify, my videos will still be free for everyone, it's just now there's a really clear way to directly support their creation. So right now, Boy in a Band seems like a relic with loads of superfluous etymology, but so are most names. So I'm still Dave from Boy in a Band, it's just that now that name doesn't define me. Feels a hell of a lot better to have that out in the open. Thank you so much if you do choose to help, and thank you so much anyway for continuing to watch my videos. I'm back releasing regular videos now, I've got some great music videos and vlogs that I've put a lot of work into coming up and I hope you enjoy them my home slices. Cheers for watching, have a nice day.